Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections, and today's topic is R22 refrigerant, and if your air conditioner has it, why you should care. So here at Structure Tech Home Inspections, we've been reporting on the presence of R22 refrigerant for about the last three years or so. We first started learning that it was becoming cost prohibitive to work on air conditioners that had this old refrigerant. And when we started really hearing about how expensive it was, we made it standard company policy here at Structure Tech to list this in our inspection reports. Actually, pay attention to what type of refrigerant the air conditioner is using. And if it uses R22, we note that in our reports and we explain to our client what it is and why it matters to them. And the short version is that R22 is being phased out. Well, I should say it pretty much has been phased out. Manufacturers can no longer sell air conditioners that use this old refrigerant and it cannot be imported and it cannot be manufactured here in the US. So it means that the only way to really get it is either you have a big stockpile of it in your warehouse or you reclaim it from a system that already has it, or you buy it from somebody else who has done one of those things at a very, very high price, like hideously expensive. So basically this refrigerant is scarce, which has made the price skyrocket. So if you have an air conditioner that runs on R22, keep your fingers crossed. Just hope that it's not leaking refrigerant and count every day that it's working as a blessing and hope that it doesn't leak. That's about all you can do if you have this stuff because if the refrigerant does leak out and it needs to be recharged, it's probably not going to be worth it. It's probably, you're probably gonna end up spending, well, it's gonna be somewhere in the four figures likely. And once you start spending that much money on a repair, that's where it starts to make more sense to just replace the system entirely. Now, I'm not gonna make that determination, but it's enough to actually make you question whether it's worth fixing or not. What prompted this issue is that we had an agent reach out to us who said they were talking with their HVAC contractor because their system was low on refrigerant and the contractor told them that it's now actually illegal to add R22. That's not true. It's still legal, you can still add it to a system. It just can't be manufactured and it's really expensive to get your hands on this stuff. So that's the bottom line. If you wanna know which type of refrigerant you have on your own air conditioner, all you need to do is look at the label on the unit outside. You go up to the unit, you find the data label, and you look for either R22 or R410A. Now those aren't the only two refrigerants that are out there. There's other ones available, but Realistically, that's probably all you're going to see. Personally, I've never seen anything other than one of those two refrigerants in any unit that I look at. So you, you might see something else, but it's not typical. If you do see something else, it's probably a newer refrigerant and it's nothing you need to worry about. The only one you really need to focus on is the R22. So that's, that's a quick summary of what's going on with that material. I suspect in coming years, it's gonna to continue to be more expensive to the point where it's no longer a debate, it's just you can't service these systems. All right, thanks for watching, take care.